Hi, welcome to my world of Newtonian telescopes. For me, my favourite optical instrument. These telescopes are designed by Isaac Newton many, many years ago, still retain their simple form. The mirror focuses all like equally. All the wavelengths are focused exactly at the same point at the same time. This gives the, this telescope an apochromatic performance. Now how much would you have to pay for a 130 millimeter apochromatic telescope? Five, six, seven, or even 10 times the cost of this one. The primary mirror focuses the light to the secondary mirror, which is housed in this spider here. The mirror, the small mirror there, the angle is 45 degrees, reflecting it up this tube. If I take the eyepiece out and look down the tube, I can see a magnified image of my eye looking back at myself. Once the lights reach the eyepiece, it's simply focused by racking this focuser backwards and forward. This is a rack and pinion focuser. Simple, but very, very effective. Very smooth in operation. It doesn't take much effort at all. Smooth operation is very important with an eyepiece focuser. Without that, stiff, jerky movements don't help you focus very, very carefully. To find objects in the night sky, if you look through this telescope and try moving it about very, very slowly, it is possible to pick things up. It's far easier if you've got a helpful little gadget. This gadget is a finder scope. Two different varieties, optical or a red dot finder. This one's the red dot variety. All you have to do is put the projected dot onto the object you want to look at and it should be in your telescope. It's quite simple. Very, very simple to use and very quick. The foundation for any telescope, and the most important part, is the rigidity of the tripod. Ideally what you need is the Rock of Gibraltar underneath your equatorial head. We don't all have that. In this case, it's a very sturdy aluminium tripod. Three-legged principle, just like a milking stool. It won't fall over on its own. On top of that, we've got the equatorial head, then attach the telescope tube. This tube assembly is mounted on what's known as an equatorial mount. This part of the shaft here points to the North Pole with the aid of a compass and setting the altitude, in our case in this area, around about 51 degrees, um, with the compass pointing at North. It's quite quick to actually get this telescope set up to track reasonably well in right ascension. The telescope tube assembly moves very freely. If you want to quickly slew to another object, you just undo the clutches and then slew the telescope round. Once you've got where you need to be, retighten them and the slow motion controls will then help you track the object in right ascension, turning them very slowly. Basically what you're trying to do is stop the earth turning. There isn't any difficulty assembling this telescope. The equatorial head comes as one part. It simply bolts onto the bottom. The tray fixes with three screws and then after that the mount's perfectly rigid. The flexible arms for turning the telescope simply attach with one screw that you can tighten up with your fingers. The tube assembly fixes with, with these are called tube cradles. You simply undo the little bolts at the sides, pop the tube assembly in, make sure it's balanced, that's most important. Every telescope works far better if it's perfectly balanced. Simply tighten them up and you're ready to observe the night sky. A marvellous instrument that any owner would be proud of.